ladies and gentlemen we did it so yeah i finally hit 100 subscribers and i feel eerie i feel like i'm turning cheeky i don't know what it means but like i am it's hard to process i'm really happy i saw a monotone but i'm actually extremely happy um i beat glade in the sub war a war that i was actually losing fun fact glade was at 71 at one point and i was at 59 which meant that i was he was 12 subscribers ahead but um yeah uh, i be i was able to beat glade to 100 subscribers and the thing was i didn't just reach 100 i reached 108 currently i'm at 109 amazing so yeah, and this is like a really un like unthinkable moment. And so that I can celebrate all of this, I wanted to show you guys something. The story of Diozzi. Narrated by Diozzi himself. Old memories. Okay, so this is the picture that you see right here. This is my old um, YouTube channel called Diozzi. You can actually still find this on the internet. Okay, so I originally began as a Minecraft channel near the time of January. Eventually, as you can see, around nine months ago, this channel really just stopped um, well, functioning, so I quit. I stopped. This channel existed for what is primarily a couple of months, like up to March, the point of March, this existed. And that's it, like that existed i did minecraft things if you're wondering where the name diozzi comes from it comes from this actually very block here diorite i wouldn't be the diorite guy so i would name myself diozzi if you're wondering yes it's not pronounced d-o-z it's pronounced diozzi i just never wants to explain how i got the name because it's pretty embarrassing because it's diorite so it's diozzi so yeah Okay, so this channel, it was actually really fun. There was actually a lot of these channels. It was Diozy 2, my dog's channel. I think there was another Diozy reviews. So yeah, and this had its own little cinematic universe type of thing. Or should I say YouTube universe where I had Diozy and a couple of other channels running at the same time. Eventually, the work piled too much, and my computer's processor is extremely bad, which allows me not to function Minecraft properly, which all led to me just stopping. So, yeah. And around this time, outside of YouTube, I also dealt with a lot of problems. Now, personally, I'm an extrovert. Everything I do, I don't want to do it alone. Like, I would rather play a video game with a friend, whatever the game is, than playing it alone, because I just feel better every time I'm surrounded by a friend or a person I like. So the thing with this is that near this time, um, I had, like, a, a thing really in school where I did not have friends at that time, which caused me to go into a sad spiraling. So yeah, and I was really like sad boy for literally the whole months that of that whole like from January to March I was just sad. And around that time was when I found my new group of friends who I still have to this day. So yeah. A glimpse of a new horizon. Now, mind you, Wings of Fire is in some new books that I found. No, I actually bought the book that is named Wings of Fire around the time of 2021. And if you're wondering, I wasn't a reader. I did not read books. So this just stood there, so in a bookshelf. At one time, I was like, I want to read this, so I did. I read a bit of it, wanted to search it online, found Willow Heart Studios movie, Watched the movie, got excited, read the book again, and did that like where I read the book for a bit, watch the movie for a bit, and the, by the time I was finished, I was one of the biggest fans of the story. I didn't even know what happened in book two or anything, and I was just excited. This was new. This was fun. This was 
amazing. Now, this is the time when I had my April break. Our school does these weird breaks. Don't I don't want to explain it. So, around this time, I asked my parents, can I buy the other 14 books? No, I'm, and I'm not joking. When I did buy the books, I bought like six of them, waited a week, and by the time that I finished the second book, I had all the other 13 that I had to read, except the Darkstalker and Legends novels, which weren't available by the time I was reading that. So yeah, yes, I did actually have all 15 books in a GIF, and I began reading these continuously. And this brought us to what began it all. These three videos are the videos that normally sparked um, hope to YouTube in itself. I began uh, doing Wings of Fire YouTube uh, work after I finished reading book three. Um, the Dragonite Prophecy video was then, the Dark Seeker video was then, so yeah. Now these videos are still up so you can actually watch these. But this was a really great time. Until, so fun fact, this, all of this lasted a literal week. I have this thing where I like to create a new channel and try to go all out. But what I do is I end up overworking myself and stop uploading for a week. And the same thing happened. After this, I did not post on this channel. Um, this was April, and the next time I posted was September. So that's May, June, July, August. Sorry, I posted in August, not September. Wrong thing. But yeah, for a whopping three months, this channel just didn't work. But fun fact, um... Actually, I do believe YouTube is not a good idea in um, educational wise because those three months where I didn't put any focus mainly onto YouTube, I got better grades, which means I'm going to do this thing where if it's a test is coming up, depending on how big the test is, I'm going to be stopping YouTube. So if you're wondering, the next sort of break that I'm going to be having is around a one to two weeks into January sadly so after like around one and a half week of January so around the time of January like 10th to 15th around that time I'll be stopping YouTube and probably will be continuing it in the end of January so yeah that's probably going to happen but back to this so yeah anyway and then it showed me the video that changed it all uh, Wings of Fire, Legends Dark Starter Review, I just finished reading this book and I was ecstatic. I was like, this is the best book, it literally made me cry, I want to write a review. So I did, and this video is actually was a hit in a way. Now the thing was, my videos normally got an average of 10 to 25 views, That that might shock a lot of people. Uh, that might shock Glade, who now knows that I actually get a, like, not, it's pretty much the same amount, but slightly higher. And I know, like, comparing to my short speeds, where I normally do gain all the traction uh, for my channel, this, like, was my main thing, even though shorts are my side thing. But this video was amazing. I actually did one of my best editing jobs at the time. I'm actually much better at editing now, but this was a good editing job at the time. But most importantly, it made me, oh crap. Okay, sorry about that. It made me meet a new friend. Glade the Mudwing, oh Glade the Mudwing. I think um, Glade was the single handled, handed soul that helped me go through uh, my YouTube. Um, through it all, I do believe 100% that if I had never had, or technically if Glade had never seen my YouTube or seen my comment section, that this YouTube channel would have probably died in a couple of, couple of weeks. And Glade the Mud Bing was a, basically a highlight of the day. Every time I upload a video, I would late like a day. And he would comment the most positive things in the world. And this honestly made me just so happy. Eventually, the last video I posted up to the month of October was me and Glade's collab. 
it did okay. Now, around this time, a small thing happened. Now, the thing was, my review, a big part too happened. Okay, so the big thing was, one of my videos reached 300 views, my Wings of Fire hit cannons, which is still my most popular full-length video to this day. But more importantly, um, around this time, I released a couple of more videos, and let's just say none of them did well. I think these were the Meme Wing Review video, number two, the Kibli Review, uh, the dark Darkness of Dragon Review, and all these videos averaged around six views, and to this day, they're standing at that number. And this also was the reason that when I even returned, I didn't make a review video until like the day before yesterday. But this Afterglades video and me realizing that my channel was basically slowly dying and I had hit my peak with 36 subscribers, I stopped. And yeah, before I get to the friendly fire section, eventually I did come back. And the what happened was, um, before I actually get to this section, let me quickly go back. Um, what happened was I returned, I started posting videos, and everything sort of leads, like slowly picking up. Eventually, I uploaded one short, and this singular short changed everything. Now, before I continue this, huge shout out to Chilo the Dragon. He was my 50th subscriber. He literally uplifted me at 10, like 10 a.m. So, yeah. But after I reached 50 subscribers, I began the friendly fire. Me versus Glade. First person to 100 subscribers wins. Now, fun fact, when this war was claimed, there was no chance of me winning. Like, I was like a whopping 10 subscribers behind. And at the time of my growth rate, I was not going to win. And fun fact, I reached 50 subscribers around 10 days ago. 11 to be exact. And... To, for me to work all these months just to hit 50 with the help of a friend chill of the dragon and then to gain the other 50 in just 10 days just amazed me and yeah never wondering that one video where I called the jade trio the best trio that video is still gaining views to this day 100 a day or so it's giving me a lot of subscribers and it's helping me grow a lot but that video put me in the lead and then we get to a, like a stalemate position around a couple of days ago where he was at like two ahead of me, I was two ahead of him. Eventually I had released really popular and hit it and shorts that really like hit with the people that allowed me to slowly gain. And then I reached 110 subscribers in the morning, three people unsubscribe, but I'm still the best. So yeah. And Glade the Mudwing still at 83 subscribers, sadly. I do suggest that if any of you all watching this video, please go and subscribe to his channel. So yeah. Finally, a small new projects thing. Yeah, before I actually, I thought this was the ending, but no. So if you're wondering, Portal Worlds, the TV show that I was going to be making, we're having some technical issues with Portal Worlds. So yeah, me and Just a Bon Bon are having issues. It's hard for me to record the audio without him. So um, uh, I have an idea for us, which is turn it into like a comic series. Um, I'm, I haven't got it up with him, even though I'm going it up with YouTube. So we're gonna be discussing it and probably around mid-February is when Portal Worlds will be released. You can probably expect a trailer around the time of early January. Now, what if Wings of Fire is doing amazing? A new episode is actually releasing today. What if Pearl and uh, Sky Switch Part 2? And the show, this has really done well. The first and the second. The first episode and the pilot are doing well. Sadly, the second episode only got five views. Now, do I blame, my, do I blame the video? No. What I do blame is my bad timing. I posted it. See, there's like this time called a sweet time which for me is around 8 to 10 p.m. and around 8 to 12 p.m. 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. actually. Now I posted this in 9 a.m., which is way too late for most people to be able to watch this video. Um, if you're wondering, a lot of my target, like a lot of my audience comes from America, which um, time gap allows me so that when I post the video here, it creates less views. 
So yeah. But episode 2 is going to be releasing in the per- correct timing. So yeah. Also I have to announce Wings of Fire Burning Embers. Now there's not like even a single speck of this is properly ready. Like the story is still is on its base level. But Wings of Fire Burning Embers is my series going over Warmonger. It's going to be like a graphic novel slash comic series. Um, once I learn to like, draw full bodies and learn to like draw better dragons, Burning Embers will actually start its base production. Currently, it's in the stage of concepts, art, concept, arts, concept, storylines, and everything. So yeah, Burning Embers will probably be coming out around spring of 2020, spring to summer of 2024, April to March, April to June, give or take. So yeah, but finally, thank you for supporting me and for letting me reach 100 subscribers. These are a couple of people that really helped me and really supported me. These are Glade the Mudwing, uh, Moonwatcher, who is that's Moonwatcher second, Chilo the Dragon, Wings of Wolfie, and Nocloner. They, uh, Nocloner and Wings of Wolfie, ha- like were really supportive every time I put a short. Especially not clone Nair, who would give me proper constructive criticism. And even though he, in YouTube wise he didn't help me, Discord wise he was a big help. And obviously, Glade the Mudwing, Chilo the Dragon, I actually had a collab video with him uploading today, so yeah. And as you see in this video, Glade the Mudwing, thank you so much. But guys, that's the end of this video. I hope the video sub to the channel will be amazing. And that's Diozy going out.